so many unsung heroes in society and teachers are really high on that list. In many ways, they are the glue that holds society together. You can say that again. Teachers are the largest professionally trained group in the world. They know who is sick, who's missing, who is orf orphaned by disasters, and even who is at risk for human trafficking. And join us now from the ARC Lounge is author and founder of Teachers Without Borders, Dr. Fred Mednick. Doctor, good morning to you. Good morning. Nice to have you with us this morning. So you live in Seattle and have a book coming out in April. Uh, we can show it to you here. It's called In the Small Places. Describe what that book is about and where your idea for that book came from. Sure. Um, In the Small Places is uh, teachers' stories of change makers and the power of human agency. And after 23 years of um, starting and working with Teachers Without Borders, we've been everywhere. And what I saw clearly was that brains aren't, you know, evenly distributed around the world and teacher leaders just show up. And I wanted to highlight people um, who are in those small places away from, you know, the maps of the world who are doing extraordinary things for girls' education, education in emergency, uh, peace and human rights. And I wanted to show, you know, them as central protagonists in the kind of global change making space. Tell us a little more about the title of the book, In Small sure. Places. What is the story behind that title? Sure. Um, I chose the title um, based upon having read what uh, Eleanor Roosevelt had said 10 years after the uh, Declaration of Human Rights, the United Nations Declaration of Human Rights. And she wrote something like this. She says, well, where do human rights come from and where do they live? Um, in the small places. And if there's you know, nothing happening there in those small places, then it can't happen in the larger world. And I wanted to write uh, stories about those change makers in small places rather than, you know, the big players out there. And they range from uh, teachers working in villages in very poor areas, um, you know, to people who are uh, in, in places of power, but mostly focusing on the grassroots rank and file teacher. We know that you're the founder of Teachers Without Borders. Um, describe what that organization is and maybe some examples where that group has affected some really big change. Sure. Um, Teachers Without Borders, I founded it in uh, 2000 in order to connect teachers to information and each other in order to close the education divide. You know, you mentioned about being the largest professionally trained group in the world. Um, but there were very few networks of teachers. Um, and so I wanted to focus on uh, the power of a teacher as a change agent in their local community. And so um, over the years, you know, I've met extraordinary people working in um, one I just had a conversation with before uh, coming in, um, a guy named Rafael Oko in Nigeria who worked on literacy programs and disabled programs. And, you know, Teachers Without Borders is based upon people taking responsibility in their own communities, teacher leaders, rather than us descending upon, you know, various countries and trying to make change from without. It's very grassroots and bottom up, and it's been that way uh, for all these years. Dr. Mednick, how can a teacher get involved with Teachers Without Borders? Well, they can sign up at the teacherswithoutborders.org site um, or through, you know, in the smallplaces.com. And then um, they're connected to a community. And we personally connect people together. Uh, then they, you know, talk about what they're interested in. They find like minded uh, folks. And then they start to adopt or adapt any of our programs. Everything is free, uh, all courses, all resources. So there are no barriers between them and social change. Doctor, it's a pleasure to have you from the ARC Lounge this morning. Thanks very much for your time. Thank you. Nice to meet you. And I love, uh, since we're showing the book here, yeah. um, you know, in the, in the small places, I love what one of the quotes is on the very back which reads, teachers are change makers in everyone's backyard, brava. Oh, I love that. You can see that as we flip it over here. I mean, we have our own experiences with teachers, but I just think yeah. about my kiddos, who they spend so much time with yeah. their teachers now, right? Right. For so many years of their life, it you know was me and my husband and then their daycare, and then, yeah. but now, so much of their, their waking hours of the day are in school with their teachers. What an impact that individual mm. alone has on their life and has it had on our life huge. as we've gone through our own education. Yeah, and we just have to say thank you to 
all of you teachers who might be watching this morning. Mm -hmm. You have the smallest impact sometimes and you have the biggest impact sometimes. Mm -hmm. And it's hard work. It's hard work. Hard work, yeah. but a truly difference in a lot of people's lives. We applaud you.